Retro here. What's your favorite lore? Oh, hey, how you guys doing? Oh, the merch is ready. Oh, <laughs> 10 good buddy. I'll see you soon. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. <sighs> this episode, this project has been a long, long time in the making. Before we get started on today's um, pretty epic episode, at least as far as I'm concerned, uh, of Retro Bassin, I do want to thank all of my Bass and Buds out there. To me, there is no better YouTube fishing audience than the Bass and Buds that watch us here at Retro Bassin each and every week. As many of you know, we did join forces with Texas Provisions a while back, and we come out with a number of different um, vintage-style uh, apparel, including this hat right here. But to date, I did not actually have anything that was labeled Retro Bassin. It certainly wasn't for lack of wanting. It really took a long time to get the exact um, sort of theme and design that I thought encapsulated this whole crazy journey that has been this channel. That was the printer on the phone and the first batch of Retro Bassin branded hats, shirts, and stickers. Well, they're ready, good buddy. So hopefully you hop aboard today as we pick up some new Retro Bassin merch. Um, but don't worry, Bassin Buds, I've got a few rods I'm going to throw in the trunk, and I think we might have a shot or two to do a little fishing today. So let's get on it. So I just pulled in to the first stop, which is a little print shop outside of Austin, Texas, to pick up some hats that, oh, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to sell any of them, but I have been jonesing, jonesing to get me a foam mesh cap with the old Retro Bassin logo. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick pickup, and I might give you guys a little bit of a teaser to see what we got. All right, so it looks like they've got everything lined up for us outside here. Woo! <laughs> so here we are at the loading dock. This is a box of shirts, and I think these are gonna be some hats. Oh, holy cow, look at that, guys. That has been a long, long time coming. A Retro Bassin uh, t-shirt <laughs> with a new logo and one of my favorite fonts of all time, the old Cooper Black. And I think there's stickers in here somewhere too, if I recall correctly. Oh, here we go. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Retro Bassin stickers. And by the way, so this is from a sticker company here in Austin and they make some really high quality stickers that like won't fade or crack or anything like that so there you go check out that bad Oscar I am gonna have to totally put one of these on the old retro wagon and of course probably put the rest of them up on Texas provisions awesome okay so now we're looking at the hats and this um, oh I'm pumped about Whoa. That is a classic red, white, and blue trucker hat um, with the brand new Retro Bassin logo. Oh, look at that. This is actually a, um, 
it's one of those screen prints, so that will not come off. That's actually not even a patch, that's just a screen print on there. But son, that is a good looking hat. Woo! <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. Oh, man. All right, I gotta swap this thing out. Try this new bad boy. I'm gonna need to get a little bit of a bend in that bill, but oh, check that bad Oscar out. <laughs> so in addition to picking up some brand new merchandise for the old Retro Bass and website, uh, I've got a few errands to run, including dropping off some Texas Provisions shirts and hats down in Green, Texas. So I'm gonna scoot on down there, um, but you know me, I always have a rod or two in the back. We're gonna do a quick little pond hop to see if I can also catch a fish on this pretty cool day of, of retro bassin. So we do have about 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes, before I've gotta hop on a conference call and drop off some shirts and hats down at Greenhouse. But that stop just happens to be very close to a little pond that I think you guys are pretty familiar with. I don't have a ton of time today to fish, uh, unfortunately, but uh, I am gonna get out here there's some storm clouds coming in. There's definitely a little bit of a chop on the water. And I'm gonna run around this bank real quick, chunking a spinnerbait. I wasn't sure what I was gonna be throwing down here. I don't have a you know specific lore episode planned today. But since I started this channel, there is one bait that I've wanted to catch a fish on for a long, long time. Um, just for whatever reason, every time I uh, reach for a spinnerbait, I end up grabbing something else. So today, uh, I am gonna try to get a fish or two on this the classic discontinued and real expensive on ebay if you want to get one um these days the shoestring dubois tornado spinnerbait if you've seen my channel you guys know that bass in this little pond they love spinnerbaits i've never actually thrown this bait in there but this is one of the oldies but goodies so we shall see but again i got about a half an hour so i got a boogie This thing has an awesome little thump to it, for sure. This is that bait where it's like part spinner bait, part buzz bait, depending on how fast you fish it. But it's definitely got a thump. And I've got to feel that little clacker blade every time I jerk it like this. It makes a little bit of noise too. That was a hit. That was a definitely a hit there. Ah. Came out of those weeds and a little bass kind of just pecked at it. Fish hit spinnerbaits really weird in this pond, I've noticed. I, I feel like I hook about half the fish outside the mouth on the bottom jaw. I don't know what that means, by the way. I don't know if you bass and buds, anybody out there has any ideas, but it feels like when the fish hit the spinnerbait, I don't know if they're rolling down on it or what, but they often get hooked right here, underneath the jaw. I think I did an episode on the Oki Bug a while back, and until I put a trailer hook on, I kept missing fish. I put the trailer hook on, and I started catching a lot of them, again, outside the mouth, which is very odd. And I don't know why that is. Oh, he hit. Woo, he hit hard. <laughs> that was a fish, I promise you. Um, man. <laughs> I was hoping that was going to go better than it did. Man, he smoked it. That wasn't a huge fish, but he cracked it really, really hard. Um, I'll have to watch the tape to see if I got a good hook set in him. I feel like I did. But again, it's weird when these guys hit it. I don't know what they're doing, but 
and and I'm not I don't know I fish enough spinner baits over the years I normally never ever miss a fish on a spinner bait but at this place I definitely swing and miss a pretty good bit as I'm sure you guys can attest to but man that's a bummer that would have been a nice fish to uh, to get in the new retro bassin gear ah well, we are running low on time here, and I've missed two decent fish so far. I would love to pop one on the old tornado before I got to make it to the uh, the next stop on this trip. We'll see if it's going to happen today. All right, Bass and Buzz, gonna check the old time machine. Yeah, I got two minutes till conference call city, so uh, we got like what three casts left. Oh, oh, I got a fish! I got a fish! Oh my gosh! Don't get off! 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 Don't jump! Don't get off! I need a fish today! <laughs> Come on, buddy! Oh, that's a nice fish! Oh wow, that's a really nice fish, guys. Oh wow, oh gosh, don't get off. Get up here, get up here. <laughs> Woo, there we go, finally. Um, that one's at the clock. I had about two minutes left till I gotta hop on this conference call. And a gorgeous little pond bass on the old tornado. Woo. <laughs> well, I've gotta let this guy go. I've got to get on the call and hop in the car, but all in all, I got some new apparel today. I caught a bass. Like Ice Cube says, I got to say it was a good day. Done with that stop. Now it is back to the studio. <laughs> all in all, that's not too bad of a day though, you know what I'm saying? Got some new merch, caught a bass, at least one, and dropped off some hats. So <laughs> my work here is done. Back in the studio, we are bassin' buds, and as you can tell, I also changed out and put on one of my retro bassin new t-shirts. So I will drop links down to Texas Provisions um, as well as some promo codes to use if you guys want to get a hold of any retro bass and gear. One of the things I was talking to Aaron over at Texas Provisions and we put together was a Bass and Bud starter kit. So as you'll see there, there's a whole um, little description of it. But with the Bass and Bud starter kit, you guys are going to get a hat, a shirt, two of these bad boy retro bass and stickers as well as one vintage new old stock lure from my personal collection. I've got a bunch of different baits that I had put aside for just some different giveaways and things like that. So what I'll do is if you get the Bass and Bud starter kit, I will throw in one of these new old stock mystery vintage baits. I'm just so happy that uh, you happened to climb aboard this week. Hopefully you continue to enjoy the retro bass and journey. And as always, drop a comment down below. Let me know what kind of content you would like to see. Until next time, guys, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'.